Bear Tattoo here. Well, it's been a while since I posted a video. I'm sure there's people that uh, are happy about that, but uh, too bad. I'm going to start posting videos about the Bears again. And they lost their first game, but, uh, you know, there are, like they say, no moral victories, but uh, at least they were competitive and uh, they had a chance to win and they just blew it. Uh, you know, there were two plays in that game that really took care of it. The 88-yard touchdown from Ryan to Hooper with the blown coverage and then also uh, the drop pass on the goal line by Jordan Howard. Those two plays, if they, if they turned out differently, I think the game would have turned out differently, especially the second one there. Howard just needed to catch the ball and go into the end zone. So anyway, the game's over, and people want to blame Glennon, which is, you know, you, these people call into the damn radio stations in Chicago and say they should have put Trubinsky in there at the, at the goal line. Well, that's just idiotic. Those people are morons. Glennon didn't lose that game. He did everything he could to win it. You know, he got sacked four times, and if Cutler was in there, he probably would have fumbled two of those, and he probably would have thrown an interception, and none of those turnovers happened with Glennon in there. So I think he's, you know, he's a safe quarterback. He's not Johnny Unitas or anybody like that, but uh, he's... Uh, He's manageable, and Trubisky will get his, he'll get his day. Uh, but anyway, uh, everybody, you know, wants to call Glennon names like uh, Napoleon Dynamite. They also heard they were calling him the Ginger Giraffe. And the guy is a dork. I mean, he's just a big dork, let's face it. Uh, but, you know, you can't blame their loss on him. You can blame it on a, a lot of other people. So I'd blame it on the defense for not calling the timeout on that long pass play. And then Jordan Howard, man, catch the ball. You're right there. The ball was delivered right into his hands. So those, those are the reasons they lost. Uh, they got the Buccaneers coming up this weekend. And uh, I'm confident that they're going to be competitive again. I'm hoping that... Uh, the defensive line with Hicks and Goldman and those guys can put some pressure on Jameis Winston. He's got to be good for a turnover or two, uh, especially an interception. So let's see what happens. Losing Freeman, though, really hurts on the defensive side. Uh, but, you know, they just have to have the next man step up and take care of business. So. Uh, Anyway, the other thing that really hurts is Kevin White, losing Kevin White. Uh, yeah, he's not done a damn thing the whole three seasons he's been there. But, you know, two broken legs and a broken shoulder. The guy's really got a lot of bad luck. Either that or he's got, like I say, bones like a chicken. What, he played touch football at West Virginia? I mean, I can't believe that every game he gets into, he gets hurt. I mean, it's just unbelievable and I'm sure he's devastated by it and uh, maybe the end of his pro career who knows anyway uh, I'm hopeful that uh, they'll use the tight ends in the game you know Zach Miller's got good speed uh, they can use him uh, this gentry kid they promoted from the practice squad uh, he's got some promise so uh, I'm hoping that uh, the Bears can pull this one out so I'm predicting they're gonna win and they're going to get some turnovers, and we'll see what happens on Sunday.